the U.S. Defense Security Cooperation Agency on July 27 announced that the State Department has made a determination approving a possible foreign military sale to the government of Romania of 16, 16, assault amphibious vehicles, AAVs, and related equipment for an estimated cost of $120.5 million. The Defense Security Cooperation Agency delivered the required certification notifying Congress of this possible sale. The government of Romania has requested to buy 16, 16, assault amphibious vehicles, AAVs, personnel variant, AAVP, 7A1, 3, 3, assault amphibious vehicles, command variant, AAVC, 7L, 2, 2, assault amphibious vehicles, recovery variant, AAVR, 7L, 16, 16, 50 calories machine guns, heavy barrel, and 5, 5, 7.62mm M240B machine guns. Also included are negative 19 Malawian Kwachars grenade launchers, M36E T1 thermal sighting systems, TSS, supply support, spare parts, support equipment, including special mission kits and enhanced applique kits, EAAK, training, unclassified technical manuals, technical data package, engineering, and technical support and assistance, including contractor engineering technical services, CETS, and other related elements of program and logistics support. The total estimated program cost is $120.5 million. A principal contractor has not been determined for potential sale. Implementation of this proposed sale will not require the assignment of U.S. government personnel, but will require the assignment of one contractor representative to Romania for approximately one year to deliver AAVs, related equipment, and support. The Assault Amphibious Vehicle AAV, official designation AAVP 7A1, formerly known as Landing Vehicle, Tracked, Personnel 7 abbreviation. LVTP 7 is a fully tracked amphibious landing vehicle manufactured by US Combat Systems, previously by United Defense, a former division of FMC Corporation. The AAV P7 A1 is used by US Marine Corps amphibious assault battalions to land the surface assault elements of the landing force and their equipment in a single lift from assault shipping during amphibious operations to inland objectives and to conduct mechanized operations and related combat support in subsequent mechanized operations ashore. It is also operated by other forces. Marines call them Amtraks, a shortening of their original designation, amphibious tractor. LVTP 7A1, 1982 upgraded. Renamed to AAVP 7A1 from 1984. Asterisk AAVP 7A1, personnel This is the most common AAV, as it carries a turret equipped with an M2HB 12.7mm, 0 .50 caliber, heavy machine gun, and a MK 1940mm automatic grenade launcher. It carries four crew radios as well as the ANOVIC 2 intercom system. It is capable of carrying 21 combat-equipped Marines in addition to the crew of 4, driver, crew chief of vehicle commander, gunner, and rear crewman. Asterisk AAVC 7A1, command this vehicle does not have a turret, and much of the cargo space of the vehicle is occupied by communications equipment. This version only has two crew radios, and in addition to the VIC-2, it also carries two VRC-92s, a VRC-89, a PRC-103 UHF radio, an MRC-83 HF radio and the MSQ internetworking system used to control the various radios. This AAV has a crew of three, and additionally carries five radio operators, three staff members, and two commanding officers. Recently, the C-7 has been upgraded to use Harris Falcon 2-class radios, specifically the PRC-117 for VHF UHF ASATCOM and the PRC-150 for HF Asterisk AAVR 7A1. Recovery This vehicle also does not have a turret. The R-7 is considered the wrecker, as it has a crane as well as most tools and equipment needed for field repairs. It is by far the heaviest of the three, and sits considerably lower in the water. Crew of three, plus the repairmen, 